Hello, hello, hello. Today a very special problem covering a part of physics that most of you may never have heard of. I'll give you a little hint, it has to do with biofringence. You see here an American quarter, metal coin. I have here a piece that looks like a piece of plastic. It's not completely transparent, it's a little darkish, but light will be able to go through it, you would think. So let's put it on top of the quarter. And indeed, you see the quarter quite well. It's a little dimmer, but that's because the plastic itself is not totally can transparent. Look at the white color of my table, doesn't look white here, so there is absorption. So that's why the coin is not as bright as it is here. But now I'm going to turn this piece over and put it again back on the coin. And now look. Table, it's about the same color again, darkish. But the coin is now completely black. We'll do it once more. First like this. Table is darker because light is absorbed. It's not totally transparent. You can clearly see the coin. Turn it over. And the coin is completely black. Table is about the same color. So the problem is the following. Explain this phenomenon, explain the physics, and then tell me what this piece of plastic would be called. <laughs> All right, if this goes far beyond your knowledge of physics, don't bother, just forget about it. It's a topic that certainly is never co covered in high school, and though I don't think that it is covered in most first-year college physics courses. Maybe not even in the second physics course, but certainly in third and fourth covered physics courses in college. It, it is definitely a topic that will be covered if you ever study physics and take serious courses. All right, take care, have a nice day, and don't be angry if you cannot do it. There's no reason why we shouldn't be friends anyhow. Whether you can do it or not would make no difference to me. Good luck.